family never experienced anything until they moved into the house. So why are they being haunted and where is it coming from? I blame her a lot for what's happened in the past, like with my dad and stuff, and even if it's not her fault, mm -hmm. I feel like there's something inside me that's worrying me. But the one thing that they have in common is their experiences with the paranormal. When did the phenomenon? Yeah, within the first week. Um, it was like depressed, like someone had actually been sitting there, and then it just rose up. Director's note, at this point I think it's crucial to determine if the paranormal activity is isolated to just Jody and Nate. What about the previous owners of the house? What do you know about them? In the yard, those are just a couple of them. Director's note, this is interesting. Apparently, a farmhand killed six family members in cold blood, including four young children. I asked Elfie and Emily to find out if any surviving descendants still live in the area, a grandson of one of the survivors. It was like it's in the newspaper, or in family history, goes kind of like this Albert Bumper. He was playing cards with the father, made a comment about maybe somebody he'd like to have the eldest daughter for himself, and the father said, no way, that's ever going to happen. The next morning he got up and decided that he was just going to shoot everybody. My grandmother was the youngest daughter sitting here on the ground. handed them an article about the family that was murdered. Is there a particular reason why you handed them that article? Do you believe that this house might be haunted, Brian? Yes, I do. Yes, I now that the family may be buried across the street. This is what we found. I just wanted to start crying. All that I know is that in the stream, there's the name of a demon. Two years ago, I was contacted by the Roman Catholic Diocese on the same day, to work on three different people experienced the name of the force that was in the house. So do we know the name? Can you tell us the name? Like, Never mentioned the name. Really? Never. And that's Chip Coffee, a medium and frequent purist consultant to join us. Chip has just flown in from Georgia with no prior knowledge of this family or this case. He contributes to what goes on in the house. I get hit in the gut in this room. I'll be real honest with you, what I just got in my head, I just got held down all. In order to find out more, we'll have to do dead time. We do some more guy uh, protects us. There's a little girl here and would really like to talk to you. Can you please come forward? Someone just open up a door, remove the basement over. Jim, are you getting something? Yeah. Why don't you write this name down? That's what I just got. Give me that. Yes, I do. This room is sad, honey. Oh my god. He does not have a male figure in his life. And I... I tried so oh. Many underlying factors where this case is concerned. And through the law of attraction, a great deal of to this home. It's manifesting in all different types of ways. Hello, Father. Director's log, great news. In your case, very hard. it is very difficult, honey. You are going to have to come blessed through the church. Then, the wheels are in motion. Be careful. And all the evil spirits roam throughout the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Okay.